सो वेलकम बैक अगेन माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू रिकॉर्ड लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर फोर्टीन इन द लेक्चर नंबर थर्टीन वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड टिल हियर वंस अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू इन द आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस चिल्ड्रन आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस फॉर रिवर्सिबल रिवर्सिबल फॉर रिवर्सिबल आइसोथर्मल प्रोसेस चिल्ड्रन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एंट्रोपी आइसोथर्मल मीन्स कॉन्स्टेंट टेम्परेचर इन दैट केस सो हियर दिस इज योर सिस्टम आई टोल्ड यू इन दिस सिस्टम चिल्ड्रन एंड द टेम्परेचर ऑफ सिस्टम इज टी एंड टेम्परेचर ऑफ सराउंडिंग इज ऑल्सो टी दैट मीन्स देर इज नो चेंज इन द टेम्परेचर सो ए स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर्ड बाय द सिस्टम इन सराउंडिंग नाउ यू कैन से इफ हीट इज सेम then why it is transferring so you can consider it a, a very small amount of heat dq is transferred to the system okay and again that dq will reverse back and system will be in equilibrium so like that dq coming out going incoming out going incoming happening so delta t delta s of system entropy change of system will be it is releasing it is this delta q dq energy so minus dq upon dt okay similarly entropy change of surrounding that will be plus because it is accepting so plus dq upon dt okay so what is the total so total energy change so this plus and this minus it will be zero so in the reversible process total energy change total entropy change will be zero got it in adiabatic children heat exchange is zero delta q you remember the formula delta s is equal to q delta q upon t in that case no heat exchange then what happen heat of system in heat of surrounding both will be zero that's happened in the case of adiabatic process in that case here if you are talking then here these values not equal to zero But in the adiabatic, they are equal to zero. Enthalpy change of system, enthalpy change of surrounding, both will be zero. Now, irreversible process, my dear students. In the irreversible process, entropy change is greater than zero. So here, temperature of system is T one, temperature of surrounding is T two, and we are assuming that T one is greater than T two. So dQ heat coming in the surrounding. so delta s entropy change of system minus dq upon t1 and now this delta q is not returning to the system enthalpy change of surrounding plus dq upon dt so in the total enthalpy change then add these two value dq common then dq is equal to t1 minus t2 upon t1 t2 so in that case children t1 is greater than t2 so here t1 minus t2 that means positive value will come positive value value means greater than zero that is the previous explanation okay so if you are watching the thermodynamic series then uh, means uh, step wise if you will follow then each and every explanation you got otherwise it creates some problem so now <coughs> in the next lecture lecture number 14 lecture number 14 so this is going to be lecture oh sorry lecture number 14 now we are going to discuss about the different thermodynamics process different thermodynamics process how to calculate entropy change so one system is given children graph of pressure versus volumes that is the initial condition and that is the final condition here pressure p1 volume b1 temperature t1 here pressure p2 volume b2 and temperature t2 that is the condition in that case children <coughs> definitely 
state change is there entropy is what entropy is a state function and state function depends upon the <coughs> state change and here state is changing p1 v1 t1 p2 v2 t2 so it depends upon the state change okay so state is changing so delta s how to calculate that formula in the previous lecture i told you dq upon t when t is constant but here temperature change here t1 here t2 then what formula we have to apply ds is equal to dq upon t so integration of that that formula always we have to use so now in that case children think about it from here what formula ds ds is equal to under root sorry ds is equal to if you are calculating then integration of ds is equal to integration of dq upon t if you want to calculate enthalpy so integration of ds will be delta s integration dq upon t but q we don't know yes or no because here no information about the heat heat release or absorb what is the information that is not given then what we can do so we can we know the first law of thermodynamics first law of td what is first law delta u is equal to del q del w so from here du is equal to dq is equal plus dw so dq is equal to du minus dw and one more formula we know that delta u is equal to n cp sorry cv always n cp delta t and w is equal to minus p delta v these thing we know according to the previous condition these will help so in that case at the place of dq what we can use so delta s is equal to integration du minus dw upon t then delta s is equal to integration of du upon t minus integration of dw upon t delta s is equal to dv is what n cv dt n cv dt upon t now integration function came minus minus p delta v upon t again delta s is equal to n cv dt upon t minus minus plus p delta v upon t okay in the next step delta s see here one more thing n is what children number of mole and cv is what molar specific heat capacity at constant volume molar heat capacity at constant volume hmm so here this value delta s is equal to 
एन सी वी कम्स आउट नाउ टी वन टू टी टू इंटीग्रेशन डी टी बाई डी टी डी टी बाई टी डी टी अपॉन टी प्लस पी वी इज इक्वल टू वॉट एन आर टी सो वॉट यू कैन राइट P is equal to what? N R T upon V. So N R T upon V and D V upon T. T T cancel. Now function now. What you can write, children? delta s is equal to ncv this integration so what it will be log t base e t1 t2 plus nr is again constant then dv upon v then what you can write log v base e v1 to v2 so now you can write delta s is equal to ncv log directly i am doing t2 upon t1 base e plus nr log v2 upon v1 base e that is the formula directly also i can write the formula but i want to feel you how it is generated so this is the formula for entropy it is the important and that is the explanation if you want to convert in base 10 then you can what log x base e is equal to 2.303 log x base 10 you can convert in base 10 also so you can repeat repeat it what i did If there is no information about the Q, then we apply first law thermodynamics. From here, we put take the value of dQ and applied here. Then we use this these two formula and we calculate this. So now, now I am erasing it. Okay, isothermal. isothermal process means what t is equal to constant dt is equal to zero then p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 del s is equal to dq upon t so again you can derive your formula du minus dw upon t then ncv dt upon t minus minus pdv upon t this time this term will be zero why because change in temperature is zero p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 hmm you are getting my point children temperature constant so integration of t1 minus t2 that will be zero 
dt is equal to 0 then whole term will be 0 so now delta s is equal to p dv upon t then you can use pv is equal to nrt then p is equal to nrt upon v so nrt upon v dv upon t tt cancel from here nr comes out log e v2 upon v1 so delta s is equal to 2.303 nr log 10 v2 upon v1 that is the formula for isothermal process in base so p1 v2 upon v1 is equal to what p1 upon p2 so you can write it 2.303 from here nr log e log 10 sorry P1 upon P2. Second process. Isochoric. Then V is equal to constant. Then dV is equal to 0. Again delta s is equal to n c v d t upon t because this time this term will be 0 because dv upon dt this dv upon v will be 0 so only this only so here it will be n c v log T2 upon T1 base E or you can write 2.303 NCV log 10 T2 upon T1. This is for isothermal, isochoric. Number 3. Adiabatic entropy for different thermodynamics processes. Here dQ is equal to 0. So delta S is equal to dQ upon T. Then it will be 0. Number 4. Isobaric process. constant pressure then what delta q is equal to ncp delta t then delta s is equal to what dq upon t is equal to ncp delta t upon t sorry dt upon t then delta s is equal to ncp log t2 upon t1 base e so this is entropy for all kind of thermodynamics process I hope it is understand to you, understood to you. Now the next is question. Question number one.
टू मोल्स ऑफ ओ टू टू मोल्स ऑफ ओ टू गैस इन अ क्लोज इन अ क्लोज कंटेनर इज हीटेड so that it temperature its temperature rises up from 0 degree celsius to 273 degree celsius find change in entropy of system in joule per mole kelvin is nearly nearly equal to what options are given 90 20 so what we can use the formula that we know initial formula delta s is equal to dq upon t is equal to du upon dw upon t is equal to ncv dt upon t t1 to t2 minus minus pdv upon t so it is saying that closed container closed container means no change in volume so this value will be zero so now delta s is equal to ncv log e t2 upon t1 or you can say 2.303 n c v log 10 t2 upon t1 so in that case delta s is equal to 2.303 n number of moles that is 2 into c v mono atomic gas o2 is what mono atomic gas for that cv will be 2.5 r then r is 8.314 log temperature t2 0 degree celsius Two two seventy three, so two seventy three plus two seventy three 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 six seven so fourteen. So it will be four forty six upon two seventy three Kelvin. So here log two. So finally two point three zero three into here it will be 5 hmm into 8.314 log 2 value 
so if you will solve so it came nearly 15 not exactly nearly 15 so if you know the actual formula then you can calculate next question question number 2 graph is given pressure versus volume in liter this is the graph here it is 2 and here it is 6 here it is 1 3 liter 1 liter 3 liter find delta s number of mole 2 cv is equal to 1.5 r cp is equal to 2.5 r r is equal to 8.314 log value is also given options are 10 20 30 40 hmm. so children pressure versus volume graph is given n is equal to 2 then what we know we know the formula delta s is equal to dq upon t then again du dw Again and again I am writing because you can easily understand NCV DT upon T minus PDV upon T. Here this value will be 0 because it is an isothermal process. Which process? This graph. How I know? With the graph. It is an isothermal graph. So isothermal means what P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2 temperature constant then it will be 0. So dt is what dt is equal to 0. Then Pb is equal to nRT the same thing apply. So delta S is equal to now finally I am writing nR V2 upon V1 base E. 2.303 nr v2 upon v1 put the value 2.303 n2 r 8.314 log 3 by 1 so again 2.303 into 2 8.314 into 0 0.477 if you will calculate then nearly 20 will come so these are the two questions which we have solved now entropy change in phase change entropy change in phase change like entropy of fusion just like in thalpy we discussed entropy of 
fusion so what happened in the case of fusion and this is molar entropy so delta s is equal to dq upon t delta s for fusion is equal to enthalpy of fusion upon temperature which temperature melting point in which case solid to liquid one mole solid converted into one mole liquid so what is the process energy involved and that that is called melting what it's called melting so q is equal to what enthalpy of fusion enthalpy of fusion that is equal to delta hf so here that q is delta hf so here t is equal to if t is equal to constant children then delta s is equal to delta leave it it is not required here sorry okay so that temperature is melting point second entropy of vaporization vaporization then liquid to gas here also one mole only we are talking so here that q is equal to hv enthalpy of vaporization and what it is boiling so delta sv entropy for vaporization enthalpy of vaporization upon t and this t is boiling point so in the case of means delta s is equal to delta q upon t that is used in constant temperature case so here delta s is equal to in the case of phase change del delta h upon t and t is what constant so one question we will solve related to this and we will bind up this process in next video we will talk about the gibbs free energy so in maximum two lecture we'll try to finish it question number 1 for a liquid for a liquid enthalpy of vaporization enthalpy of fusion kilocalorie per mole and molar entropy change for fusion is 5.26 calorie per mole kelvin find melting point so what we know that delta s is equal to enthalpy of fusion upon melting point apply it delta s is given 5.26 calorie mole kelvin is equal to 1.435 kilo calorie then multiplied by 1000 calorie 
upon mole into melting point so calorie calorie cancel mole mole cancel t is equal to 1435 upon 526 into 100 that calculation and your answer will be 0 degree celsius from here it will come in kelvin and in celsius then answer will be 0 degree celsius calculated children last question of this lecture and we'll finish it find delta s joule per gram kelvin for conversion of One gram ice to water at two seventy Kelvin and one atm pressure. If enthalpy of fusion. Six point zero two five kilojoule mole Kelvin is given. So enthalpy entropy of fusion enthalpy of fusion upon temperature melting point. So put the value six point zero multiplied by thousand joule upon temperature is. Two seventy-three mole Kelvin. So they are asking about one gram. That is the interesting part. So one mole. That means eighteen gram. Eighteen gram is what one mole. So for one mole, value is six upon. Two seventy three joule. So for one gram ice, six twenty five upon two seventy three into eighteen. So here almost one point. Three three value will come. That is your delta S value in joule kilogram. So children, that is it for this entropy. Now entropy is completely finished. In the next lecture, we'll discuss about Gibbs free energy and one more lecture relation between equilibrium constant and Gibbs free energy. So almost one hour topic is pending and it will be completed. So all the best. start your preparation do your preparation well thank you